Reality TV is an insanely popular form of television. There's thousands of shows, they make tons of money, they're always trending on Twitter, but they also cause tons of controversy and are easily the most critically slated form of media out there. And I wanted to take a look at why that is, but also while I'm here, I wanted to try and answer the question, what even is a reality show? Because when trying to answer the question, why do I hate reality shows, I realised that the term reality TV itself is incredibly hazy and ill-defined. All it really means is TV that documents supposedly real life, unscripted situations with either members of the public and or celebrities. It can be staged or manipulated in editing to some degree, but it's got to at least have the appearance of being real life. But that description could just as easily apply to anything, so we've got to add some qualifiers. It's differentiated from straight documentarial and factual based programming by its focus on personal conflict and entertainment over being enlightening, informative and educational. But if we take that description as read, then BBC Parliament is technically reality television. I've certainly never learnt anything from watching people shout at each other in the House of Commons. I've just sat in front of it some evenings, drinking heavily and shouting FIGHT FIGHT FIGHT! That's not an enlightening or informative experience, is it? It's reality TV. But speaking as someone who despises conventional reality TV because I'm a sophisticated, intelligent, intellectual sort of person, I have been wondering whether there is a degree of snobbery involved in the way that clever people like me look down our noses at thick people who watch TOWIE, because whoever you are and however clever you think you are, we all have the impulse inside of us to take a vicarious interest in a bunch of people involved in personal conflict. It's not really the focus on petty personal drama that's the problem with reality TV, because regardless of whether you like reality TV or not, admit it, we all do that. Every single person watching this video will have had bitchy discussions with their friends or family about drama that's going on in the personal lives of either people that they know or celebrities at least once. Hell, you're watching this video on YouTube, and the biggest thing on YouTube is response-based content and content that reports on the drama surrounding big YouTubers. No, there is a different reason why people like me despise modern reality shows, and interestingly, it's simultaneously the reason why they're so wildly popular. And that reason is, they're almost completely devoid of actual content. Reality shows like Big Brother in its early days used to be tightly edited pieces, because with hours and hours of footage you can cut clips together with talking head bits and engineer conflict and make it more engaging. And they put a lot of effort into making a tight hour of television where not a minute of it was wasted. But I've tried a lot of modern reality shows including Love Island, The Only Way is Essex and Made in Chelsea, and the difference is that these shows don't seem to really… well, bother. These things are an hour long and there's like five minutes worth of an argument in them. The rest of it is just the cast sitting around chatting about mindless vapid shit that nobody could possibly care about. They employ the same techniques of cast sit around chatting intercut with talking head bits, but the cast seem to be given much, much longer to just sit around chatting. The process of deciding what's interesting and worth keeping and what's dull and worth cutting is much more relaxed than it used to be. It seems like there's barely any editorial decision making or just flat editing at all in lots of modern reality TV shows. It's like I'm watching raw footage here. They're so flabby that the events of the week could basically be summed up in a sentence. When we say reality TV shows are unscripted situations, we don't mean unedited situations. But reality shows feel like they've barely been edited at all and that seems to be the appeal. Maybe it's because I'm an anti-social type and that's why I hate things like Made in Chelsea because it just feels like you're actually sat on the sidelines of a boring everyday conversation between boring everyday people about boring everyday daily life shit that goes on for so fucking long and is just Did you hear that person X and person Y are having a domestic dispute? Yes, I did. Wow, isn't it fascinating? You've got about two minutes worth of compelling content out of an hour, probably less. But no, a scene of two people talking about whoever they happen to be nobbing this week goes on for like ten bloody minutes. And then there's another scene of two different people talking about whoever they happen to be nobbing this week that goes on for another ten minutes. But their audience seems to like that. They can just let themselves drift off into this world and into the middle of this conversation like your body's literally melting and fusing with the TV like in Videodrome. These shows are so drony and waffly that they just wash over their audience. It's like a form of hypnotism. This problem even extends to reality shows that have at least bothered coming up with an actual premise. 
I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here is a show where we get some celebrities, stick them in a jungle in the middle of nowhere and get them to eat gross shit. Sounds interesting, right? Well, huge, huge chunks of the show are just comprised of dull, barely edited conversations between the contestants about nothing. Shows depicting unscripted real-life situations have ended up with hours and hours of footage where not very much is happening because in real life, not very much happens for most of the time. And they've got about five minutes worth of stuff that's actually worth putting out if they were making the kind of editorial decision making expected of proper TV. And they're just going to make the rest of it look pretty and the show ends up being easier and cheaper to make, but also completely empty. And that emptiness is the reason that people watch these shows. They're unchallenging, they don't require much effort on the part of the viewer, they're nice and simple droney hour-long blocks of sparkly things. They're awful shows, mindless and lazy, everyone admits that, that's why most of them are so heavily slated, but why else do people enjoy jacuzzis, massages or getting shit-faced? These are not intellectual pursuits, they're just how people relax. And that's probably the reason why I can't enjoy reality shows, because I can't relax, because everything is shit, the world's on fire and we're all gonna die. And I mean, to be fair, I suppose I have enjoyed some reality shows before, but only the ones that have actually bothered coming up with a premise. Like, there's that survival show on the Discovery Channel, Naked and Afraid, where two random people are dropped stark bollock naked into the middle of the wilderness and have to survive for a month, while the camera crew stands on the sidelines hoping that they get so bored that they start fucking each other. Which basically plays like a metaphor for the state of the human race as a whole. I'll admit I have enjoyed watching Naked and Afraid before, not in that way, it's blurred, you don't see anything. But it's at least got an interesting, if pointless, concept going for it. But I'll admit the Osbournes was kind of interesting. It was trash, sure, but at least Ozzy said stupid and outrageous things occasionally. I think that's what I'm missing from modern reality TV and why I think that Made in Chelsea is one of the worst things in the world ever. There's no real premise to it, and the people featured are some of the dullest human beings ever to walk the face of the earth. I need an idea with my reality shows, something interesting to hook me in, a premise, a character, someone that I'm going to enjoy watching. Hello, my name's Lee, I'm 25, and I'm from someplace up north. I didn't have a mum and dad growing up because I was born in a lab on the back of a rat. Basically, I spent the first five years of my life as this wet and sticky treacle-like substance. I'm hoping to meet a lady with big tits. Hi, my name's Chanel. My mum was an international jewel thief, and when I was seven, she cut my eyes out and installed telescopic x-ray lenses so I can see where any treasure is hidden. I want to meet a fit bloke. Hi, my name's Kelly. I was born with three legs, six ears, and a few other bits, but I had to have all my extra appendages amputated so I could win a beauty pageant at school. I want to either meet a bloke or an inanimate object, preferably one made of plastic, but I'm not picky at this stage. <laughs> this week on Real People Island. I think I'd look really hot if I did something with my hair. Yeah, I think you'd look hot too. Yeah. Want a shag? Okay. <laughs> 